All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here. Check it out. So, uh, yeah, I've, I'm, I'm having a beer. It's the end of the day, man. I've been working around my house, busting my ass, and I deserve one. Uh, <laughs> got, got something here. This is a uh, the Colt Cobra 38 Special. Uh, you may have read into the title of this thing. And the only reason I'm doing this video, it's not really even breaking news or anything, but I've had some people ask of my opinion about what's going on with Colt and uh, pulling their distribution from uh, the general public of their AR-15 platform. And i got to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, if it was somebody like Palmetto State Armory, okay, decided that, hey, we're not going to sell AR-15s anymore because we've had this uh, feeling of guilt that we are uh, contributing to the delinquency of the public and uh, playing a part in these things of whatever's going on with these evil individuals who want to do evil and they will continue to do evil regardless of who manufactures what. Now, a lot of people are reading into this is that uh, maybe uh, they think Colt sold out or they've got some kind of, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? A guilt trip or a conscience. All of a sudden, manufacturers got a conscience. They're going to quit selling these guys to the public. Yeah, I'm not too worried about Colt. But if PSA, Bear Creek, Arsenal, Daniel Defense, those guys decided that we no longer feel, we've made a, a conscious decision that we no longer feel that the general public is trustworthy enough to have a firearm like that, okay? In which, you know, pretty much is what's going on with the government right now because uh, you've got people like Beto O'Rourke followed up by the whole Democratic Party, let's just face it, that they don't trust the general public with a firearm like this, regardless of whether or not you're a person like me or a person like you who is a good law-abiding citizen. Now they're saying, well, if you're law-abiding, you're going to go ahead and turn them in when we say turn them in. And you know what? Hell no. Over my dead body, not will not happen. As a matter of fact, it, it probably never will see the light of day. Uh, but it, even the Rasmussen poll today, uh, I saw the headlines that said, the majority of Americans think that uh, a mandatory buyback is a great idea. And I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is the majority of Americans? And it was like 51% thought it was a good idea, but you don't know what the polling questions were. You know, if given a chance of saying yes or no, would you say that it would be okay? Well, it also depends on the area that they polled in. I mean, it was like New York City. So what I want to do real quickly is uh, we'll get back to the cult thing here because <laughs> in all honesty, it's more to do, I think, on the market base. But uh, And we'll talk about that here real quickly, regardless of whether or not they think uh, it was a conscious or a motivated decision that they are not trusting the general public with their rifles. Uh, let's get on with this. Let's go. Oh, I want to perform a poll because I want to say I think I have a good outreach with this channel and that it is an unbiased poll and you can do it by making a comment down below and it's going to be either hashtag uh, gun what is it? What is what is one of them? Let's see. Uh, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hashtag no buyback. Okay, that's if you're against it. And then for those individuals who are for the buyback, I want you to go hashtag go buyback. Okay, one word hashtag. Okay, G O B U Y back B A C K or hashtag N O. B U Y B A C K. Put that down in the comment section down below. And what I'll do is I'll send that in to Rasmussen and let them know that I performed a poll. And these are the results that the majority of the Americans, yeah, because you're Americans, right? This is what we think. Okay. Also, let me know if you're undecided. All right. So let's get back to the uh, thing about cult. Okay. So, uh, big damn deal. Okay. I could care less. Who, who, who by a show of hands here, owns a cult? And if you do, good for you. But in the last 10 years, the market has been completely saturated with manufacturers. Hell, there's people I don't even, you, there's probably 100 that you don't even, aren't even aware of. And besides that, uh, I don't go out and spend $1,200 on a rifle that's as good as a $300 rifle. And that's the bottom line. And I'm not trying to offend anybody out there who owns a Colt, but the deal is, is that they have lost their ass in the market. 
Uh, they've damn near had to declare bankruptcy. Uh, since they lost the uh, the deal or the federal contracts and trying to get those back, correct me if I'm wrong, but in any case, uh, I don't believe they were making any money on this thing anyway. So as a two-way street, they probably went ahead and said, you know what, we can look good by leading the way and creating and telling everybody we have a good conscience because we're going to continue to make the 1911 as well as the wonderful revolver. And i got to be honest with you, I bought this thing because I thought it would be an investment piece, but I really just want to trash it now. But I'm not. It's just like the Springfield. Uh, I've got a couple of Springfields, XDMs. I've got the uh, V16 long slide, which <laughs> is a badass gun. And I bought that bad boy right before Springfield did their deal. So in any case, uh, do I think that uh, the deal with the Colt is uh, a deal breaker or they're trying to lead the way? No, I just think they were losing their ass and they decided to go ahead and quit distributing these things to the general public, but they already have contracts with law enforcement as well as the government and they got to fulfill those. Otherwise, I think they just quit making them all the way around. So that's my opinion. Uh, <laughs> and that's all I got to say about that. Anyway, don't forget, hey man, we got there our, our poll for America. Hashtag go buyback or hashtag no buyback. Let me know what your thoughts are so I can distribute that information on up to uh, CNN and Fox News and all those guys that really care. Also, um, we had a really good idea from one of the uh, viewers yesterday, uh, John Bellinger. Uh, what they need to do, if somebody like the NRA who has a ton of money wants to produce a commercial that would show uh, a kid holding up a sign that says uh, gun-free zone and then all of a sudden... The rewind after you know the bullet goes through and everything, a teacher pops out in the hallway and pops the perpetrator. Uh, soft targets will always be soft, and there will always be a uh, vulnerability there. Anyway, guys, that's it. You wanted my opinion on this Colt deal? That's it. I could care less. Let's go to Boy 32. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. What else I got here? I got myself a new competition three gun pistol. If you guys are following Instagram, um, you'll, you're probably seeing a picture of it, but I picked it up yesterday. Thanks very much to Ethan Manning and the guys over there at Atlas. We will unveil her here shortly, but I'm just, uh, I'm cuddling with it right now. Let's go to boy 32. I am out. Y'all be good.